What's up guys? This is Lily and today I'm going to share with you an educational vlog in pharmacology. Okay, so watch and enjoy the video and stay tuned. Okay, so the topic we are going to tackle today in pharmacology is about a patient with diabetes. Alright, so take a look of the case. It says here, it is the, the client is Steve Anterior, a 47-year-old financial advisor. Okay, so um, the case is here. Just read on that. And then with regards to the case uh, above or the case that we're going to be discussing here in this vlog, um, the name of the client is Steve Anterior. He has a type 2 diabetes mellitus or mellitus, which is a non-insulin dependent diabetes. And we're in the pancreas, produces inadequate insulin or when the body is unable to utilize the insulin produced. Okay, So this type of diabetes is often linked to poor diet. So type 2 diabetes is fairly stable and in and it is easy to control sorry okay so the scope of this you know topic is focused on type 2 diabetes mellitus or mellitus and the insulin issued is um, caused by a uh, contribution of insulin deficiency and resistance all right go. so in this topic we should be picking up the type or types of insulin that Mr. Anterior may be uh, taking. So here it shows a list of insulin, you know, injections or medications. And it says that there are many forms of insulin to treat diabetes. So they're grouped in here. They are grouped by how fast they start to work and how long their effects last okay so uh, here includes the type of insulin di uh, for diabetes and one is rapid acting insulin and it covers insulin needs for meals eaten at the same time as the injection okay so this type of insulin is often used with longer acting insulin for example the less pro or the humalog and the aspart or the novolog okay there's also the short acting insulin which covers insulin needs for meals eaten within 30 to 60 minutes examples are regular r or novolin and we saw Velocin um, insulin. Okay, just take a look at this. All right. Another type is the intermediate acting insulin. So it covers insulin needs for about half the day or overnight. This type of insulin is often uh, combined with a rapid or short acting type. For example, the NPH and insulin okay so there's also very rapid acting insulin which brands names include Umalog, the insulin less pro following injections absorption is very rapid peak action of course about 10 minutes later so this is best before meals to control rise in sh sh uh, blood sugar okay can be used as substitute to short acting insulin as well Another type is the long-acting insulin, and this covers insulin needs for about one full day. So this type is often combined when, um, when needed, okay? So with rapid or short-acting insulin. Examples are insulin glar glargin and the insulin tetimir, livimir, okay? So next is the pre-mixed insulin. This 
products are generally taken two or three times a day before meal time. Okay, examples are Eumelin 70 over 30 and Novolin 70 over 30. Okay, so moving on, since Stephen Deer suffers from type 2 diabetes and is required, sorry, required to use multiple daily injections of insulin that is usually injected around his waist or hips, the type of insulin injection that they may use is described below. Okay, just take a look at this um, diagram. You can see the type of insulin, the brand names, the onset, the peak, the duration, the absorption, distribution, elimination, and properties and uses. Okay, so it will be shown here. Right? Okay, in regards to the diagram, the dosage, administration, and described uses and mechanism of action are all um, stated here or described so just take a look at this this page okay okay so moving on here the description of the beneficial effects of the insulin okay is listed here just take a look at it and the description of its side effects as well okay just take a look at this so as you can see here these are the um, factors that can predispose to hyp hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia um, condition in relation to diabetes okay so just take a look at it here is the hypoglycemia is discussed and defined okay in here you can see an additional uh, some additional facts about hypoglycemia okay just take a look at it over here, you can see the hyperglycemia, uh, the description and other facts about hyperglycemia. Just take a look at it. In here, we can see some uh, description of some of the, of the symptoms of hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia. Just take a look at it. Okay, just uh, symptoms of hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia. Just take a look at it. This, the symptoms are enumerated here. So in here, guys, you can see that there are some questions that you can ask during the case history of a person with uh, diabetes, type 2 diabetes. So these are the health history questions that you can ask. Okay, so just take a look at it. There are a few here that are listed. Okay. Now you should be um, able to provide observations uh, during this um, with this uh, during the case um, analysis of the case. So in regards in regards with the. Um, a client like tube anterior um, having a type 2 diabetes so this would be the observation that you can derive from the from the client or the patient 
Okay, so as we move along, you can describe on how you may modify treatment for this patient. So it's it is explained here. Okay, just read on this. It's all here. And now there's the uh, description of the guidelines related to insulin sites. Okay, so you must be aware with all the guidelines in relation to the insulin sites. It's all they are all listed here. So just take a look at this. These are the guidelines. Okay, now you must be able to describe your plan of, of management um, this client's or tip anterior type 2 diabetes. So this in, in will involve the type of treatment. Okay. So it says here the type of treatment will be using a general Swedish massage technique for an hour duration. So this is mostly uh, in relation to massage therapy treatment. How often? Do you do the, uh, the the treatment, and what are the ben the benefits, okay, of this treatment? Okay, so these are additional uh, benefits of the treatment. This, like I said, it's a treatment in massage therapy of a. Uh, a client named Tib Anterior, with, which um, has been uh, diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Okay, so, you should also take into consideration the risks of the treatment to a client, to Mr. Tib Anterior, which has type 2 diabetes. So, just take a look at this. There are a few here. And the alternatives to treatment so you should be taking into consideration some alternative um, alternative ways to treat um, Mr. Tib anterior who has a type 2 diabetes additional alternative to treatment are listed here just take a look and now we're gonna proceed to precautions okay so there are a few precautions that you should take into consideration in uh, treating this uh, client tip anterior who has a uh, type 2 diabetes okay just take a look at this precautions other precautions so there are additional precautions here which you may take into consideration okay so these are all precautions just take a look at it okay now let's move on to the exercise recommendations just have a few here so just take a look at it Okay, these are the exercise recommendations. So now it is the hydrotherapy guidelines. So these are the hydrotherapy guidelines. So just take a look at it. Okay, these are a few hydrotherapy guidelines as well. Right, still hydrotherapy guidelines. A few more to look into it. Okay, guys, more additional hydrotherapy guidelines. Okay. Okay, so you have uh, seen in my uh, in 
this video that um, in, in the case of tip anterior so that's the the whole um, case scenario and um, yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video guys uh, thank you for watching I'll see you again on my next educational video and you have a great day